navigate the iOS by using TerraTerm for console connectivity. This topology and twenty nine sixty switch and PC. Connect the using the console console cable from RS232 port on PC to console port on switch. You will connect PC to a Cisco switch using a rollover console cable. This connection will allow you to access the command line interface and display settings or configure the switch. Okay, Cisco switch and power, the power cord and rollover cable connected to PC. Serial COM ports are not longer available in most computers. A uh, USB to DB9 adapter can be used with a uh, rollover console cable for console connection between the computer and Cisco device. USB to DB9 adapters can be purchased at any computer electronics retailer. If using a USB to DB9 adapter to connect the COM port, you may be required to install a driver for the adapter provided by the manufacturer of your computer. To determine the COM port used by the adapter, please see part 3, step 3. The current COM port is required to connect the Cisco IOS device using a terminal emulator in step 2. Turn on the Cisco switch and computer. Okay, go to PC, desktop, and uh, use terminal. Okay. Uh, The default parameters for the console port are uh, 9600 bouts, okay, this, 8 data bits, okay, no parity, none, one stop bit and no flow control, one stop bit and no flow control, okay. Enter. When you can see the terminal output, you are ready to configure a Cisco switch. Display and configure basic device settings. Display the switch iOS image version. After the switch has completed its startup process, the following message is displayed. Enter N to continue. Okay, N. Would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog N for now? While you are in the user exit mode, display the iOS version for your switch. Okay, show version. Space, 
the which iOS image version is currently used by your switch okay this is the version for the bootstrap program okay this is the version for the bootloader but I want this and the image file version this 15.0 show flash in my case 12.2 okay which iOS image version is currently in use by your switch on the document 15.0, in my case 12.2. Configure the clock. You will see that configuring the correct time on Cisco switch can be helpful when you are troubleshooting problems. The following steps manually configure the internal clock of the switch. Show clock. And change this enter the privilege exit mode by typing enable enable the configure the clock settings the question mark provides help and allows you to determine the expected input for configuring the current time date and year okay uh, for example clock set and mark question to view the options hour minutes seconds hour minute seconds Mark question to view the options, the day of the month, or the month, the name of the month. For example, December. Mark question, uh, day of the month, 12, and year. Mark question, the year, enter, then show clock to verify, okay, very well configured. Access a Cisco router using a mini USB console cable. This topology PC okay, uh, Cisco 4221 router. I will use 4321 and use the console. You can use the USB cable to connect from. USB uh, port on the PC to connect the USB console on the router. Okay. If you are using Cisco 4221 router or other Cisco iOS devices with a mini USB console port, you can access the device console port using a mini USB cable connected to the USB port on your computer. The mini USB console cable is the same type of mini USB cable that is used with other electronic devices such as USB hard drives, printers, or hubs. These mini USB cables can be purchased from Cisco systems or other third party vendors. Please verify that you are using mini USB cable 
uh, not a micro USB cable to connect the mini USB console port on a Cisco iOS device. You must use either the USB port or the RJ45 port. Do not use both ports simultaneously. When the USB port is used, it takes priority over RJ45 console ports. Okay, this is the connection. The USB 5 pin mini type B console port. The USB 5 pin mini type B USB type A console cable. Okay, type B on this side, but type A on the computer side. And finally, the USB type A connector. Turn on the Cisco router and computer. Go to PC1, desktop, terminal, uh, bits per second, about uh, 9600, data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, flow control none. Okay. This is the console for the router. Uh, would you would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? No. No. Enter. Enable. And show clock. OK. Uh, reflection. How do you prevent an authorized personnel from accessing your Cisco device through the console port? Basically, secure the device and use password protection. What are the advantages and disadvantages of using the serial console connection compared to the USB console connection to a Cisco router or switch? It depends on the port availability on the PC and the router or switch. If the PC has a serial port and a DB9 to RJ45 cable is available, it is generally easier to connect to the router or switch using the serial console port. If the PC does not have the serial port, a third party USB to serial adapter can be used. Cisco switches do not have mini USB console ports, so connecting via USB is not an option. If you are frequently connecting to a Cisco router that has a mini USB console port, this can be the most effective method after the Cisco drivers are installed because nearly all newer PCs have USB ports. Thank you.